Hey everyone, this is Prashant Chaudhary. I welcome you all to my channel Classic Power. In this video, this is the third video of the data flows where we would be talking or doing the manipulation on the specific data. Whenever we say the specific data, it's like whenever we need to focus on a specific rows and we need to play around that. So before implementing that, I want to show you some of the logic, like how do we create the logic? Okay, so let's take an example. On the SharePoint, we have some rows and there is daily new rows are being added and there is daily some rows are being modified. Now we are fetching data from the SharePoint and to the Dataverse. Now the requirement comes that we only need to update the existing rows. Even if the new rows are being added into the SharePoint, we don't want them to be pulled into the Dataverse. We only want to update the existing rows. So in that case, we are talking specific to a particular amount of rows and we need to use only those rows. So how to create the logic for that? So let me just open one of the PPT for you and let's try to create. How do we create the logic for that? So let me open one of the circle for you. Let's see. This one is my source. So how can I add this one? Source. So data, what is data flow? Data flow is just querying a data from the source and pushing it to the destination. That's what the data flow is doing. So let me change this and make it as destination. Okay. Little bigger. Okay. Now, this is our source, this is our destination. What Dataflow is doing? Dataflow is simply fetching the, querying the data from the source and pushing it to the destination data source, right? So in order to update only the existing rows, okay, what logic we need to implement? So just understand, if we try, if we write a query that would fetch the so, rows present in the source, and on the another query, we will write another query which would be fetching the rows present into my destination. Okay, so let's say I'm getting these two circles. Now, using the Venn diagram concept, if I just combine them, so the portion which is overlapped, this particular section, will be the section where all the rows would come which needs to be modified those rows are present also in the source also in the destination it means we need to focus on the rows which are coming in between in the intersection of the source and destination Venn diagram right so that's the same logic we need to implement using the data flows so let me now take you to my data flows here we have created the data flow and if I just go and to the edit. I hope you understand what logic, how we are going to implement the logic. So here on this left hand side, you can see we have a queries. Queries is like taking the data from some place. So we have already taken, we have already written a query which would be taking data from the source. Now we need to write another query which would be fetching data from the destination. Okay, so we'll click, come to this portion, click right click and then new query. And the source would be my, in my case, it would be data flows, dataverse, oh, we need to click more because the, my another source is my dataverse. Okay, we click on the dataverse now it would ask to create the connection okay so how do we create the connection for that first we come to this one only and on this we have a option which says 
maybe the session details and here we have this instance URL we are going to copy this one from except this HTTP okay come back and here we are going to paste this now we'll say the connection name as let's say destination destination connection D E S T I N A T I O N. okay authentication type i would organization account and then click on the sign in the same way we have created the connection for the sharepoint in the first video if we you haven't watched i recommend you to please go and watch that video it would be good if you watch that video before this video okay now we have created the connection with this dataverse go next right now our destination is also the dataverse suppose we need to do some type of manipulation if some say we have our data present at two different sources that sort of scenarios would be good for this particular type of examples okay now it is connecting to my dataverse so it is taking longer than expected okay so let it load okay now it has connected to my dataverse now i can see my list so my list name is outlet i click on this list and here i can see all the columns i click on the create now here you can see on the queries we have two different type of queries one is taking the data from the source another one is taking data from my destination now if i just go to my ppds we have taken the data of the source and the destination now it's the time to combine both of them and get only the portion which are coming in the intersection of these two so now we come to this and again click on the right click there is a new query or there's a merge queries now we are going to merge the queries click on the merge query now it asks left table for merge so my left would be i'm using the outlet that would be my sharepoint and the right i'm using for the my dataverse you can maybe reverse the same it doesn't matter all you need to understand is you need to be good in understanding this type of venn diagrams okay so here if i first understand this left outer left outer would be the portion which would give me the rows which are either modified or newly edited okay the right the right outer would give me the rows which are already there in my dataverse and they are also modified full outer would give me all the rows which are either present in the sharepoint or my source or my destination so in this example i'm focusing more on this inner which would be the intersection it's like the rows present in my query one which is fetching the rows from the sharepoint and the rows are the same rows are also present into my dataverse remember we have used one of the mapping that mapping is the id column so we need to come little up evolution has been cancelled okay what is the reason okay now we go to the id this particular id this is a foreign key if you have remember we need to search this particular id in my dataverse as well crd for id and here it is this particular one okay now we have given the relation that the id column of the source is the same as of the id column present into my destination now it would fetch only those rows which are coming from my sharepoint query and they are also present into my dataverse using the inner intersection selection of this 
joins okay now click on the okay so it would create a new query whose name is merge query okay so it would ask some sort of things so continue with that for some security reasons it, this type of pop-ups comes okay so for now it is saying there is no row this table has no row maybe and then we need to we, we can simply go to the next so the thing is like why this table has no rows so understand the logic the logic is some rows are coming from my sharepoint these rows some rows are coming from my data verse table and the merge is coming from my it's the intersection of these two so i guess i have written the intersections okay so maybe some sort of relation i have missed outlet of id okay see i'm the out, outlook so eight id Eight, nine, ten, eleven. It should be with this one only, right? Is there any other title? If I go more, okay. If I just click on the outer, let me just see what things it will give me select the columns the same okay the reason why it was not showing is the data type of the column which is present inside my data verse and the data type of the id column which is coming from a sharepoint are not same because of that it is not showing any results so let me just see how it is if i come to my outlet the id column is a whole number type okay and the data verse id column where is that id column here to this one id is when it's of type text so convert this to be whole number okay now let's go and check in the merge query okay so now i can see the rows which comes under the intersections is it the intersection yes i can see from this one as well there's a symbol is coming the intersection now i can hit the next button and it uh, here it would ask for which query you would like to load into the table into the destination table okay so for this outlet this query is taking data from my sharepoint so what i'll do i just go to the reset because i don't want this query to be loaded this query output loaded so i click do not load now i come for my query which is taking data from my dataverse i don't i also don't want this to be loaded so i click on do not load now select for the merge one for this merge i want it to be loaded and where into the next into the existing table and the table name is outlet so let me search where is that outlet okay let me see from maybe from here the we need to get the schema name and the other stuffs cra32 cra32 now let's come here and search for cra32 cra32 this one now we need to do the mappings so created created and then id id this one modified modified price for price title for title and select a key key is our primary key id only delete the rows that no longer exist correct 